Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I would like to share with you my New York Almanac I created. Uh, I did also that gold printing on the spine and all kind of stuff inside and I really love this journal. Uh, it's it's <laughs> small stunner. Uh, I filled that journal with so many ephemeras and so many small attachments and I really hope you will like it. Uh, I do have to those openings here or right on the front here is space maybe for the picture of the owner and there are pockets window pockets right here here is a small notebook or notepad with writing papers in the top pocket and in bottom pocket there are two ephemeras there is space for writing on a uh, that back side of these pockets and some embellishments and I did use so many stamps in this journal I did use also so many uh, dies and embossing folders so <laughs> I really did enjoy to create this journal I think this journal was as a tutorial on my patreon I think so yeah now I'm a little bit confused if it was this one or the other one so maybe this one or a very similar one was right now on on my patreon as a tutorial i guess <laughs> we've got here small booklet for writing and this can be lift up and i do have here one pocket here with a small insert and one pocket here with another insert and one lifting up with writing space right here and we do have small pocket here for this mini tag maybe for some small quotes or uh, some small note so it's pocket in here and when i flip it over i do have pocket here with another mini booklet for writing with beautiful uh, images space for writing here and small uh, small writing uh, like id card no not id card clocking card <laughs> for writing <laughs> anywhere can be good writing space and writing pages another pocket here and i really used so many stamps i used uh, tim holtz stamps uh, stamps from some pool uh those dates from the past uh, so many stamps uh, stamps from teresa collins uh, yeah really i don't even remember all those names and again we do have lift up page here and this journal has a uh, like beautiful amount of papers for writing and i love them that way to to have also some journals where um my customers will be able to write on something we do have opening here and you can see i used tim holtz papers in this one i do have a small pocket right behind this picture right behind uh, this background of that picture we do have a writing spot right here oh come on and when it's closed we do have pocket behind right here and I like like uh, how this metal strip it's kind of going together with that image and we do have another pocket from this side for this and we do have also a small pocket behind the man in this pocket here so there is also many many pockets and I used Tim Holtz uh, dolls paper dolls as decoration quite a lot in this journal and there is pocket here oh there is pocket there is many pocket i forgot sorry <laughs> i do have frame here and i do have pocket here and again writing space or space for photos And another pocket is here with small ephemeras and this is kind of like see-through pocket 
and uh, with window in the background space for writing here there is another pocket here on the top so some long tack or you know folded paper can be slid behind in this pocket here on the top we do have writing writing space here insert here again pocket here look at the beautiful paper i really love this palette and kind of like uh, rose gold paper and it's really gorgeous and again same writing space and pocket for small tag and this beautiful paper doll and here is same like before uh, i do have pocket here behind that picture it can be lift up here i did uh, decorate it uh, small i actually cut a test tube to make it smaller and i filled fill that test tube with some old papers and put their label like decoration and i really like this and again it's opening right here pocket from this side again with this metallic strip and i used tim holtz emboss embossed and cut or cut and embossed uh, those strips and it's pocket from that opposite side and it can be opened this way so we have space for writing here maybe space for picture here small space for writing here and flip it over you do have here and there few quotes in this journal again writing pages here i do have a decorated envelope and small um washi tape holder so this washi tape can be used in through to this journal and then i do have again writing page and another double pocket flip out so there is a tuck behind the lady there is opening as a writing spot and there is pocket from this side with some ephemeras and pocket also from this side with some ephemeras and it can be opened this way and here we have again one large frame which can be lift up with a pocket here and pocket here and writing spot here and there is also a pocket behind that uh, girl but i forgot to put their small tack i will have to put their small tack and i do have pocket here really nice beautiful large pocket and i think this one it's same like that before yes it's just something like clocking card this one is actually for budgets so if you need to write you know your budget here you can make it very easily writing space and another writing space and another writing space library card and here another mini booklet with a frame on that opposite side and small book here and writing spot and on this side i do have last of these flip out images and again i used so many metal pieces again it's pocket from the other side opening here and i do have pocket from this side but i forgot to put there something here i do have that uh, metallic strip insert and again opening with tim holtz papers here i do have glossing back or glossing envelope to put some uh, goodies inside and in the last pocket here are also i forgot <laughs> here are also elastic bands so you can slide behind that uh, another notepad or notebook and we do have a library pocket decorated library pocket here and small envelope here so this is my new york new york almanac with tim holtz papers and tim holtz paper dolls because i somehow uh, i think that belongs together I, I think tim holtz doesn't live in new york but for me he is kind of like icon who shows how it was probably look in new york in the 30s you know in 1930 1920 at that, that time he does have amazing style and i think this style kind of match with this uh, this beautiful 
uh, book cover. This beautiful book, blah, blah. <laughs> sorry, this book cover I shared with many others uh, with my Patreons. There is collection of many, many, many uh, book covers. This one is one of them. So this is my sharing for today. I hope you found some inspiration. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. Link for that book cover or for my Patreon where you can find, find where you can find these book covers will be down below. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.